Hello lovelies, thank you for stopping by my beauty channel. My name is Kadeen, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm gonna be doing my first, my very first review today um, and I'm going to be reviewing this pretty little product right here. It's called uh, the Central Skin Enhancer and the brand is Kevin O'Quan. I love it, love it, love it. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, so what it is, is, is <laughs> you can use it as either a foundation or a concealer depending on, you know, what your needs are. Um, so I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons, uh, tell you a little bit about the price, a little bit about the color that I'm wearing currently and uh, how I personally use it. So let's start off with the pros. Number one, it's a versatile product. Why? Well, I just mentioned it can be used as a foundation or it can be used as a concealer. Uh, now, I think it's a little bit too thick to be used as a foundation during the summertime, so I use it uh, only as a concealer when it's warm out, but in the wintertime, then I can, you know, go full on out. Um, speaking of full, number two, it gives great coverage. So it's a uh, cream, first of all, so it, it automatically comes thicker than, say, a liquid. Um, this is what it looks like and it gives pretty full coverage if that's what you want if that's what you need but if you don't uh, need you know as much coverage as it gives you can always share it out use a moisturizer mix it with a primer and there you go you get a share uh, sort of um, you, you get a share formulation a formula right? just make that up anywho so um, yeah it's beautiful it's great I love it um let's see and even as a concealer it does give great coverage you can it covers those dark under eye circles yes it does i say it sort of reminds me of the mac uh, studio finish foundation not foundation mac studio finish concealer um with you know how thick it is and it's it's opaque so it will if you have a very stubborn dark spot on the side of your face you just take a little dab it and pat it down blend it out with your fingertips and there you go it disappears and as i said i am wearing it right now i'm wearing it as a concealer and i do have dark spots on my cheeks unfortunately as a result of um, you know popping pimple pimples uh, I know that's bad. Don't do that. I, I don't know why I do. It's a sick obsession, but I digress. <laughs> so I do have dark spots, hyperpigmentation on my cheeks, but I use this Miracle Concealer to wipe it away and to give me a flawless finish so my skin appears <laughs> flawless even though it's not. And um, yeah, this really does the job as far as that, that is concerned. So great coverage. Number three. A little goes a long way. I'm telling you, you just need like the tiniest amount, the smallest amount to cover your whole face. As I said, um, even if you're just using it as a, well, even if you're using it as a foundation and you need it for everywhere as opposed to just, you know, sections of your face where you have dark spots, it will, the smallest amount, like maybe like a, not even a pea size, like the size of a rice or, two grains of rice <laughs> let's say and it works it covers your whole face you don't need a lot at all so um that's great number four it gives you a creamy whipped texture or it has a creamy whipped texture i should say um let's see if i can show you right here oh my god i just love it love it love it it blends really nicely on your skin I, when I apply as a foundation, I use my Beauty Blender sponge and it works really well. Um, when I use it as a foundation, I just use my, the tips of my fingers and just kind of dab it around. But um, I don't know if you can see. Let me try to... Well, see, so this is, a, this is what the texture looks like. I don't know if the camera is focusing, but um, if I kind of show you how it blends. Oh God, maybe I shouldn't do that. My fingers aren't done. <laughs> My fingernails are done. I'm actually about to go do that as soon as I'm finished here. Um, but you can't even see anything. It just blends right into my skin. It's like the perfect match for me. But I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it has a nice creamy whip texture. Mmm, beautiful. I guess that's why they call it the skin enhancer. Because it's, you know, 
soft and buttery and whipped and it just smooths it on, just glides on, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see, um, okay, let's talk about the cons. Cons, number one, it contains mineral oil. And what's the problem with that? Well, mineral oil is, uh, well, it supposedly clogs your pores. There are some that uh, sort of disagree with that, but you know, studies have shown that mineral oil is not that great for your skin. Um, we don't want clogged pores. I'm not a dermatologist, first of all, I'm not an esthetician, anything like that. But, you know, this is what they say. I'm just giving you the facts based on the research I've done. So, that would be the con. Um, mineral oil. Uh, number, and by the way, this isn't the only thing that contains mineral oil. Many of, like, moisturizers, lotions, and a lot of beauty products that we do use contains mineral oil. So, this isn't the only thing. Um, okay, number two. It's expensive. Yes, it is. Um, oh, my God. Can you see me, like, squinting? I haven't actually put my laptop in my lap. And why am I looking at my laptop? Well, I actually already wrote a blog about this, and I figure well, why reinvent the wheel? Just you know, sort of use it as a guide, so I don't miss out on any points. I want to keep you guys, with my YouTube fam, informed as well. So that's the reason why I have my laptop here. Um, okay, so it's expensive, and I'll tell you how much it costs. It's forty-five dollars. Yes, this little thing right here is forty-five dollars. Where let's see, it says net weight. 0.63 ounces or 18 grams this little tiny thing right here 45 dollars but you know i did say that it lasts a very long time so i do think it's worth it no regrets here um and that's 45 dollars plus tax by the way just to you know add insult to injury <laughs> anywho it's it's definitely worth it that i i don't regret purchasing it at all it has done me well all right so Okay, so the color I'm wearing right now, the color I have is SX13, and the company describes it as the shade, the shade is having a warm, rosy yellow undertone. Okay, a warm, rosy yellow undertone. I have no idea what that means because rosy and yellow, it sounds sort of contradictory, but whatever. It works. It works for me, okay? I love it. It fits my complexion perfectly, and I would say if you have a similar brown um you know see you can't even see it because it blends right into my skin it blends right in if you have a similar brown caramel complexion such as myself then i would you know suggest you pick up sx13 that color would you know go beautifully um it definitely it doesn't look actually it doesn't give off any weird sort of like tints or you know whatever so this is great. I actually used it on a model for a photo shoot who you know, had a similar similar complexion to mine and it, you know, it looks flawless on her skin. If you want to see what I'm talking about, check out my blog. Um, it's Check out the uh, behind the scenes post and it's called the Harlem photo shoot. So I'll probably put it down, down in the description box so that you know you guys can have the info already and set to go. Anyway, so that's the end of that. I give this product an A. I love it. As I said before, it's my miracle concealer. And, um, you know, it's all I can say about Kevin O'Quan, the central skin, in, skin enhancer. <laughs> and my color is SX13, caramel complexion. Mwah! Love it. Love it. All right. So anyhow, don't forget to check out my blog. Uh, you know, check out my Twitter, you know, and definitely come back. Come back for more. I have plenty more reviews where this, this, that came from. <laughs> Bye!